Now let's look at learning objective B and evaluate nth roots either as exponents or radicals and we will use a calculator. So letter A here wants us to estimate 6 to the 150th power. By the way, this is the rational exponent. As a radical, it is the 50th root of 6. Now all you need to do to type this into a calculator is type 6 into your caret key and then in parentheses do 1 divided by 50. You want to make sure it reads um, this right here as an exponent and not just a regular number. When you do that, you're going to get that the answer for here is going to be approximately 1.036. Now, when you look at B, there's just a slight difference. That negative sign, again, is just sitting out there all on its own, and then it's really just asking you 6 to the 150th power. So it's asking you this same value, which we found was that, but we're going to make it negative. So the answer here is negative 1.036. You know, if it had been negative 6 now to the 150th uh, root, what number 50 times would get you this? It would end up being an imaginary value. And then let's wrap up with this slide. This is a nice recap of all the differences we would see. Um, we are going to use a calculator. Uh, this one right here is asking for the fourth root of 33. So what number four times gives me 33? It's not a nice integer value, so I'd want to type that in the calculator. Letter A and letter B are exactly the same question. This is just a, ra a radical. This is a rational exponent. So on the calculator, just type 33 to the caret of 1 fourth. And when you do that, you're going to get approximately 2.40 for both A and B. Now for C, they want us to realize this negative is just sitting out there on its own. And then we're really just doing here 33 to the 1 fourth power. Again, we already found that answer, which was down here. So it's the 2.40, but we make our answer negative for this one. And then D and E are actually the same question. This is the rational exponent. This is the radical. It's asking us what number four times is negative 33. And the answer here is actually going to end up being imaginary. You're not going to have to worry about figuring this out. Um, if your calculator is just in the regular mode, that's fine. What this ends up being, if you want to have it in your notes, is this complex number. 1.69 plus 1.69i.